really excited to try the belly band. I actually haven't carried with a belly band before, and being that we're all runners, I'm looking forward to testing this out. So, um, this particular belly band holster, what I like about it is is the actual holster that wraps around your waist itself is a little more narrow, about mm -hmm. half the width of this belly mm -hmm. band holster. The other thing I really like about this one is the Kydex offers a lot of really good retention. The downfall of that is you have to special order this belly band to you and the firearm you want to carry. But once it's on, it, it is, is on. unbelievable. Yeah, we were jumping up and down just kind of <laughs> testing it and I thought, you know what, this would also be great while we're out hunting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, Absolutely. it is so secure, you guys, and this Kydex holster is just incredible and I Wearing love it. Wearing it on the outside of your clothing is an option if you were in a situation where you could open carry yeah. and then you have nothing getting in the way mm -hmm. when you have to draw or if you had to draw. Mm -hmm. The other option is the traditional belly band, which is actually the one that I use all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't run with it, and the reason for that is because it's hot, it is warm. They do have this breathable material underneath, but you don't have to custom order it. That's correct. Yeah, that's something that's nice, so it can fit several different firearms. Um, today, I actually have the LCR, which you, revolvers can be a little bit bulky, but like you said, if you are a little bit on the chesty side, you can bring it up um, right underneath, or you can bring it down into your waistband, mm -hmm. or sometimes I carry right in the middle and I'll wear a nice bulky hoodie. Mm -hmm. And that's really a great option. Well, the great thing about these is there's versatility. So yeah. for a lady with a larger chest, you can put that firearm right against mm -hmm. your chest um, with a belly band, a kind of a higher fit right. um, to really disguise it. Or if you want to wear it as a true belly band, which is really how it was intended mm -hmm. to wear around the waist, you could do that as well and your clothing fits right over it. Right. It's extremely secure. Now this is a vertical drop in and then this one is an angle drop in. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I really like the angle draw um, versus the vertical drop drop. But like you said, this this one you don't have to special right. order for a specific firearm. It's a lot more universal. And less expensive. And so if somebody's a new shooter or they have a new firearm, mm -hmm. they could try this out mm -hmm. and see if they like to carry using a belly band and then move on to something. Yeah. You can never, ever have too many holsters. No. That's a fact. Yeah, for sure. Which leads us into ankle carry, which is something I don't think a lot of people really think of as like a traditional carry, right. but it is a fantastic option. So this angle carry holster is um, really great. It's got a Velcro retention strap mm -hmm. and this particular one is designed to hold a slightly smaller pistol. So for this one, I have my Ruger 380 LCP2 in here. Um, nice fit and feel. It has a great protection over my trigger. And then the retention strap really locks this pistol in place. So one of the things that I've noticed is that ankle holsters haven't been used as much because skinny jeans became very popular, mm -hmm. but we're seeing a big comeback in bell bottoms yeah, and right. boot cut jeans. And so I I really think this is a great option for a lot of women um, and knowing how to draw that firearm mm -hmm. is something that they definitely need to work on if they're going to do an ankle carry. Well just like any type of carry, if you're going to choose to do an ankle carry, if you're going to choose to do a belly band carry inside the waistband, outside the waistband, in a purse, however you choose to carry, it is so important that you practice. practice. Absolutely. Practice dry fire, practice at home with an empty firearm in a sterile mm -hmm. environment. And it's something that all of us should be doing every single time that we choose a new holster. Mm -hmm. Every single time you go out, you know, practice drawing your firearm mm -hmm. out of your purse, out of your waistband, out of your belly band, however it is, so that you have that muscle memory. Just remind yourself the flow because in a defensive situation, literally three seconds and three yards. That is the average attack. So there's not a lot of time for not you to have to remember how to do everything. We want to be as quick and on our feet as possible, which means we should be training, finding a group of like-minded women, other people that like shooting. There's tons of great NRA instructors out there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you can get with different people and we can try on each other's equipment, check out each other's firearms, really have the great opportunity of not only having great fellowship, but seeing what other people are doing, how they're using their equipment and what's going to work best for us. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely.